Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan if you're new here and I'm a homeschooling mom to six kids. This video today is actually all about what is in my morning basket. It's also a collaboration with Vani over at Mrs. Mom's Homeschool. So I will make sure to put a link to her channel down below. I love seeing what other people are reading and using in their homeschool. So I can't wait to check out all the other mama's videos in this collaboration. So make sure you click that link after this as well. So as I said, this is gonna be all about what's in our morning basket. Now, I guess it was almost a year ago, I think I put out a video about how we do morning basket, just the basics of how it works in our homeschool. There's lots of ways that you can make it work for you. It doesn't even have to be an actual basket. I did buy one of these at Target when I was there the last time for $3, and it has these awesome dividers in it. And so I think I might actually transition over to using that as our morning basket pretty soon. But for now, we have always used a literal basket just because I had one. Um, and it looks a little nicer when it sits out. I don't know. Anyway, I mentioned in previous videos I wanted to be more intentional about sharing what is in our morning basket each month. I have another video where I shared what our read alouds are for our homeschool this year, although that's not all of them because we'll sprinkle more in and it didn't include picture books and things like that. But as far as like the broad overview of what we're going to be reading, I included in that video and I'll link it down below as well. But I'm going to share with you today what's in our basket for this month. So, first of all, how we use morning basket. First of all, as I said, there are lots of ways that you can use morning basket in your homeschool. For us, I use it as a way to just kind of start our day, to ease into our homeschool day. So I'm a homeschooling mom to six kids, as I mentioned before, and two of them are very young toddlers. And um, so we really definitely need to ease into our days. So what we do is as we're starting our day, we grab this basket we curl up together on the couch or the kids sit in the floor and I sit on the couch or I'll sit in the rocking chair that's beside me right here in our den area you know whatever we're feeling for the day but we grab this basket and this is how we start things so what I include in here like I said are things that transition us into starting our homeschool day I don't like to just jump straight into academics I don't even like to jump straight out of bed in the mornings so I definitely don't want to jump straight into a math lesson right after breakfast. So <laughs> that's why we do morning basket. The biggest takeaway I want for you guys to get out of this is I know, especially if you're a new homeschooler, everything being thrown at you, all the ideas for homeschooling being thrown at you, um, don't feel like you're a failure if you don't do morning basket. You're not a failure if you don't do morning basket. This is gonna look different for everybody and I can't wait to check out the other videos for that purpose. I like to see how people utilize things in their homeschool to make it their own. There's no right or wrong way to do morning basket. It can be in a basket, it can be a stack of books on a table, it can be in a bucket, I don't know, it could be on a shelf, whatever. So in the past, we've added in calendar time, we've added in just like day starter, worksheet type things. We've added in nature study into our morning basket. There's just so many things that you could do with this basket. It's just the basic gist of the whole thing is just to have something close to your fingertips to help you ease into your homeschool day. So the first thing that we start with is actually our Bible time. Now what we're using for Bible this year, I actually did a whole video on this and I can link it down below as well. But we are using the Truth and Grace memory book as kind of our spawn this year. This is a, um, this uses the shorter catechism <clears throat> but it's written for young children 
and um, so we go over catechism questions each day and we also have a verse that we memorize every few days and we also sing a hymn we learn a hymn each time so we would just go over those things do our correlating Bible reading because there are verses that go with each catechism question and answer so then we would do that and then start our day Who made you? God made me. What else did God make? He made, God made all things. <laughs> Can we say it all together? God, God made, made all, all things. things. Why did God make all things? For His own glory. Why did God make all things? For His own glory. Good job. All right, how can you glorify God? This is a new one. This one says, by loving Him. Say that. By loving Him. And doing His commands. And doing His commands. Good job. So, how can you glorify God? By, by loving, loving him, him and doing what He commands. All right, so let's look up those passages that are in here. All right, so it says, Jesus answered, The most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. But as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love, these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. So as far as picture books and things like that, I only have one picture book in here, but this is something that I do switch in and out of our basket based on whether we go to the library, which we need to go. We haven't been in like two weeks. And so that's something that's not in the basket yet. But normally what I will do is I will pick up some fun picture books that I can incorporate with all of my kids' ages um, or, you know, nonfiction type picture book style books um, that will also interest my toddler as well which she will sit and listen if there's good pictures <laughs> sometimes we will actually also have activities if I want to do like if I want to stop whatever we're learning and do like a fun unit study I will keep put that in there or if I want to add in anything like for a nature study um, if we're doing nature study and we're doing um, some additional reading with it, I include that in our morning basket as well. We recently did a nature study on moths, and so I had several books that each day I would switch in and out and put those in there. Really, it's a great way for me to stay organized with that kind of stuff and more intentional about it when I see, oh, there's my basket on the table. Let me switch out those books for tomorrow before I forget. So it's kind of like a, a visual reminder of things that I need to do to make our school you know flow a little better so the next thing that I do is I usually try to do something related to what we're learning like in science or history things like that so for my younger ones right now we're kind of reviewing the seasons and things like that calendar type stuff so I chose this book to add in there, my favorite time of year, and it's all about the seasons. My toddler likes to participate in this, and so I always try to include at least one or two picture books. All right, the maple trees are turning red, the elms are turning yellow. When Kelly and Mommy take baby Patrick for a walk, they stretch their necks back to see the colored roof above them, orange, red, and yellow and brown, we must look like baby birds, says mommy. Then the leaves start to fall, whirling and swirling in the wind. The next thing 
that we do is our actual read aloud. So right now we have Pedro's journal as one of our read alouds because in history we are getting ready to start learning about the explorers and things like that. So that's why that is in there. And so we are reading through this together as a family because you guys are doing such a great job of coloring that and I'm loving them. And we're gonna start our new read aloud um, called Pedro's Journal. And this is um, like a journal that was written by a boy who was on the voyage with Christopher Columbus. Okay, mm -hmm. now this is historical fiction. So what does fiction mean? Um, that means it's not real. Yeah, it means it's not real. So this is not a true story, but historical fiction means that it it took place, they wrote it to take place during history as if it were a true story, but it's still fiction. Okay? So it kind of gives you perspective of what it might have been like um, to be on a voyage with Christopher Columbus. The other thing that's in our morning basket is when I shared our curriculum choice for history, I shared that we are actually using Master Books, um, America's Story 1. So we're doing U.S. History. However, I love Story of the World. Well, my kids do too. We love Story of the World. And I didn't want to leave it behind. So we are still using it as a read aloud. So we are using the one that correlates with the time period that we're learning in U.S. history. Because I want them to have that reference in their mind of what's going on in history in the rest of the world while we study the main U.S. history this year. So we are using it, like I said, as a read aloud. I do still have the activity guide. And so each day that we read something out of here that goes with what we're learning in our main history, I'm having them just do the coloring sheets or whatever. And so that is included in our morning basket as well. All right, so the riches of Spain. A young boy stands in a dark cave. A heavy sack leans against his bare legs. Beneath his feet he feels damp, slick clay and rough ridges of stone. So because we are using Story of the World that way as a read aloud, we are also using this because in the activity book for Story of the World, it does give the reference pages um, for this particular um, book of history. And so I keep this in here in case we want to look it up and you know see a little more information about it. The next thing that I have in here, I have our Let Freedom Ring book, and this will probably stay in here for quite a while, um, along with the Story of the World stuff. Um, the read alouds and things like that will change out, but like the Bible, um, Truth and Grace Memory book, this Story of the World, and then this book will probably stay in here for a while because, whoops, it's upside down. <laughs> Because this book, I really like. I actually got it at a used bookstore for like 75 cents. And it's really awesome. It has all kinds of documents and um, songs and recipes, letters. Did I say letters? I don't know. Um, all kinds of those things in it throughout history. And so I thought <laughs> that that would be a great reference to have on hand just to kind of tie in to the time period that we're reading about at that point. And the other thing is, this is our other read aloud that we are almost finished with. We got a little bit behind on it. We're almost finished with this one. Um, it's been really, really good, but I always put whatever our other fun read aloud is in there. So we usually have two, sometimes three read alouds going at one time. To some people that may seem really confusing, but it's really not for us. And um, so yeah, so I try to do one that's like more of like a historical kind of learning read aloud the same time we do a fun one. That is what is in our morning basket for this month of August. My plan is to continue to share what we have in our morning basket each month or every two weeks. However, it ends up being changed out based on how fast 
we move through everything but I am planning on sharing more of what we are doing in our homeschool as far as read alouds and morning basket so I would love if you guys would stick around I do videos on homeschooling homemaking motherhood um, cooking type stuff canning um, all the things all the things of life <laughs> um but mainly homeschooling but if you would like to stick around i would love for you to stick around so push that subscribe button down below make sure to check out the other videos in the collaboration as well as bonnie's channel and thank you so much for sticking around with me today guys